Bummer, dude. Here we are. I'm dumb. Can't really see much. Still can't see much. Okay, that's just science. I, d I mean, I'm, I don't want to call him out or anything, but Andronia was not the most reliable little drone. Hello and welcome back to another episode of No Suit Survival. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode 32. Friends, before anything else can happen, I must laugh. The laughter of a man who has been given too much power. Keen has bestowed upon me a gift, Neon, in the form of small grid. <laughs> There is no surface that will not be covered in light. There is no darkness that will not be penetrated by the fluorescence. Anyway, I'm super pumped about the new neon tubes, if you couldn't tell. This is going to be awesome. So one other thing really fast. Uh, I'm actually heading out of town next week. And so uh, I have to record two episodes in the time that I would normally record one. So I'm going to do the best that I can to make these episodes similar in length as my normal episodes, but they may be a little bit shorter just because I want to make sure that they're up to the quality that you're used to. And so I want to make sure I leave myself enough time to edit them properly as well as recording. So with that out of the way, let's uh, let's get into the to-do list. So last time we mentioned that we want to move the, move the actual to-do list over to the base. And now that I'm saying this out loud, this would probably be a good time to do that. So let me just grab some components for an LCD. And uh, since we don't have anything other than that, let me grab the names of the patrons. Hello, patrons. Thank you so much for being here. And let me go bring them to a new home. There you go, patrons. Welcome to your new home. Somewhere nice and warm. Uh, by the way, fun fact. Zardo, that name, uh, is this name. Same person. Uh, so Zardo, if you're watching, first off, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but second off, I want you to know, like, this mod is probably one of my favorite mods, period. Obviously, I'm a, I, I really like mods, <laughs> evident by the fact that I add, like, basically a new one every week. This specifically has been a mod, I mean, frankly, it's something that I've wanted in the base game forever. And so, kudos to this. I mean, not only is it just awesome, but I mean, your modeling skills are fantastic. So thank you so much for reaching out to me and everybody who's watching this, go and support Zardo. Cause I mean, it's, I mean, it speaks for itself. I mean, come on. So I took a little bit of time to make it look cooler. I like the blue. So we going with it. We made the to-do list and we moved the patron board. And to pat myself on the back, I'm also going to check off that I made a done list. We've all been there. You add things to the list that you of things that you've already done. Make yourself feel good. You know what I'm talking about. So, on the to-do list for today. Okay, so first off, we need to light this place up. Everywhere is so dark. You don't really see it very much in the spectator cam because I have the spectator, like, have the headlights on. But when I'm walking around, it's just dark. Maybe when I finish up this intro, I'll show you. Uh, next up neon obviously don't exactly know what that's gonna look like but we gotta spend some time figuring that out right the turtle or turtles needs some neon especially now that we're living underground uh next up i want to i want to expand this mine that we have a little bit and i want to use the auto mining platform script in here uh somebody commented that i think i need to have like quite a bit of space in order to have those wind turbines be useful at all underground. And so I'm going to use that auto mining script to get us a bunch of stone, get us some iron, and then uh, make a big enough hole that we can put some wind turbines down. So not as simple as I made it seem last episode. If I knew what I was getting myself into, I may have just built another wind turbine tower. 
we're already going that direction, so might as well lean into it. But while we're waiting for that mine to happen, I think one of the other things that we're gonna do is we're gonna start getting power from hydrogen engines. And finally, expansion. We need to build those officer's quarters. So in order to do that, we need to expand the base out because we've already determined that our current real estate is not enough to, for these fancy pants officers. I don't know if we're gonna get to all this stuff today, but I am gonna try my darndest. So anyway, with that in mind, let's uh, get into it. Uh, what a beautiful lake. So remember how I said it was super dark? Yeah, check this out. Why is it all of a sudden not as dark as it was a second ago? I mean, it's like you're starting to see it, right? Let me let me go down here to further show my point. Yeah, this is what I'm working with. It is just so dark underground. I mean, I can add my lights, but yeah, see, even when I add my lights on, it's it's redonkulous. Let's uh, let's start fixing that first. Well, that took a little while, but I think we can all agree that I did not take that job lightly. Lightly? You know what's worse than bad puns? The fact that the only person who's listening to me make this joke right now is me. When you're making puns to yourself, that's when you know you've hit an all-time high. Uh, I, I kind of went a little crazy with the neon already, but we didn't do any small grid neon, so clearly not enough. Let's, uh, let's get on that. do the the Tron reveal uh, I'm going to put the spectator cam in a place that's dark and then I'm gonna bring our ship over so you can see it feast your eyes on the turtle Tron one hundred percent that was the best use of my time I am so pumped it looks so awesome it's just a great day. At some point, I'll probably do the same thing to the mining turtle, but we'll make it blue because the mining turtle is blue. 
That's just science. Okay, now that I have sufficiently messed around, let's get back to some production stuff. I don't know how much iron we have left, so I'm gonna go check that downstairs and, uh, and we'll see if we can set up our mine. Uh, I just realized something. Really fast, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a, just a real quick slow-mo fly-through uh, with the spectator cam because as I was walking down, I was like, dang, this looks really cool. And I want you guys to experience that too. So satisfying. Oh, so satisfying. Okay, let's get back to the work. Work, work. I have basically no iron, but I have 200,000 stone. Why is the... <sighs> Something broken again. It's always mines. Why is it always mines? Let's see what it is this time. Literally this piston head right here. And now we're back in business. Okay. Wait, is there like actual ore here? I'm going to die if I don't run faster. Ah, yes. Uh, well, I do have a pretty decent amount of components. All right, tell you what, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to build our ice tunnel underneath the ice lake so we can start getting, well, ice, and then we can fill hydrogen tanks so that way we can have hydrogen engines until we get our uranium. And that way we can refuel the seeker and any other hydrogen ship that we wanna build. This is the way. And you know what? Because I already have this hole here, I'm gonna use this as the entrance to the under lake ice lake mine. Let's do it. I just realized, you know what would probably be more helpful in this situation? Rather than having this turtle whose drills are facing downwards, I should just take the turtle welder, take off the welder, add some forward facing drills because I'm trying to bore a tunnel forward rather than down. Alrighty, back in business. Behold, ice. All right, now I doubt that that tunnel was straight at all. It's probably gonna take a little bit of finesse to be able to make it work. We'll figure it out. All right, this is probably gonna take a while, but I think it will be worth it. So sometimes we just have to invest in infrastructure. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to run some scaffolding from here to the other side, just to see how windy it is for us to get like pipes and stuff down there. Yeah, so that tunnel was about as diagonal as anything. So, uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't need it to be perfect. I just need it to be working. Let's make it work. So this seems like a good a time as any to uh, start trying out these new reinforced conveyor tubes. I'll have it switch from these pipes that I usually do and we'll, uh, we'll do some of these reinforced ones down here and we'll see what it looks like. Could be pretty cool, could not be pretty cool. Uh, actually, you know what, now that I'm looking at it, I think there there are better places for something like this. Yeah, it's a square. And I think that it would look cooler if we had a pipe. Oh good. We'll find we'll find a place for it later. I think it's just now dawning on me how long of a process this is gonna be. Let's go.
Alrighty, now we have a ton of ice, and we, I have plans on making that, more, like, more automated. Right now I just, I need to clear out a bunch of space to get a bunch of equipment down there. Uh, rather than just clearing it out by right-click mining, I should use this opportunity to get that ice into our inventory, and then as we clear it out, then it will become more automated over time as we run out. With that being the case, let's go ahead and plop down some uh, hydrogen tanks. Uh, but that being said, we don't have a ton of iron again. I think if I were a betting man, I'd say that stupid piston part got damaged again. Let us see if I am correct. I was indeed correct. All right, well, we can probably turn these drills off. I was about to go just plug in the turtle and have it charge, but the fog makes the turtle look so cool. Awesome. Awesome sauce. The fog really makes the base look cool. The way that helps with the lights, I guess. I don't know, but it's pretty sweet. It's kind of eerie. Also kind of cool. All right. So we're going to need some more iron if we're going to want to build hydrogen tanks and H2O2 generators and then hydrogen engines. And also I've decided I don't love this like ramp that goes down. I think I'd rather do like an elevator situation. And so all of that is gonna require some more iron. So I should probably set up a mine. My brain is kind of like split between a bunch of different things that I would like want to do to get a sustainable amount of iron. One is just go over to the iron vein and just build a little mining outpost over there and then cargo, like ship cargo back over here. But that's kind of exactly what we did last time. Like we had the mine base and then we had the spaceport. So I kind of want to do something different. Um, so I think that the best course of action for me would probably be to utilize this giant hole that we just made to bring the mining turtle in here. And then at the end over here, I'm just gonna carve out a, a pretty big area. It's gonna take me some time, but I'm just gonna carve out a, a big enough spot. So that way we can have one of the automated mining platforms going down. Yes. And then that way we'll just have iron. I mean, here's the thing. Another option that we have is I could just spend the time to learn how to use Pam and make some cool drones that can lift heavy and bring them back over here and plug them in. Cause then we could assign them to jobs whenever we find iron deposits or different things like that. That might be better. Yeah, that's probably better. It's new, it's exciting. The only thing is I just, I've, I've had issues with it because Andronio, I, I mean, I'm, I don't want to call him out or anything, but Andronio was not the most reliable little drone. Okay, I watched a couple YouTube videos of some people setting up some drones, and I feel more confident in the ability to do so. Not overly confident, though, because, because building things that can handle three times gravity has repeatedly proven to be difficult which is why I made the turtle and then every other ship that I do is like based off of it because I was like, I know it flies, so we're good. But alas, I think it's time to add a new ship to our fleet. That being said, I'm still a little low on iron. So before I get to building this drone, I'm going to take out the turtle miner and we're gonna go hit up that iron mine a few more times. So for me, it'll probably be about 30 minutes for you guys. I'll just snap my fingers and we'll have iron. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, that was so very sketchy. Come on, come on. Must have damaged. Oh no, it's, it's still. Okay, clearly I overfilled it. That could have been so much worse than it was. I mean, it wasn't great, but we didn't destroy anything. All right, let's uh, make sure we don't fill up that much this time. All right, let's see how much iron I got after four trips. 
So we have 33,000 ingots and we have 18,000 ore still being processed. I think that's enough for us to be able to build our mining drone. All right, so here's the deal about this drone business. I have to build the dock first, I think, and then I can build the drone. So I'm trying to think of like the best way to build it. The, the only thing I know for certain is that I want to have the connector facing upward rather than downward. So that way we can make sure that the drills are not gonna run into anything. All right, I have an idea. Here's what I'm gonna do uh, first. I'm gonna put a piston right here with a connector on it and then I'll build a connector and then I'll, I'll have an, the ability to like move it down and up as I wanna build stuff. All right, and we have our little building jig set up and I'm gonna put this little button here so that way we can reverse it when we need to. Sweet, this might actually work out. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so I'm thinking what I wanna do with this is, I've seen a couple other people's drones for this specific use case and typically they're like, they're very symmetrical and kinda almost circular. That way they can just bore down into the ground without like their side scraping or things like that. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is uh, set it up so we have like four large thrusters just so that way we don't have any lifting problems and probably four drills and a reactor rather than batteries which means we're gonna need to get uranium. But I mean, if, if this drone works, then getting uranium will no longer be like a problem. Getting any ore technically wouldn't be a problem if this drone does its job. Let's see what we can do. So the thruster has damaged my pipeline underneath here, which means to make these reactor components, uh, the assemblers aren't getting cargo. So I plan on fixing that, but rather than trying to bring the turtle welder over here and welding that up underneath this, I'm just gonna make a bypass right here where I'm just gonna plug it in. All right, well, while I wait for the reactor components to be built, I think I wanna try out this uh, round cockpit. I've been wanting to find a, a use for these and I think that this would actually be a pretty cool use having it up next to the reactor. Let's try it. Cool. All right now I just need to set it up so there's a screen that you can look at from inside the cockpit. Sweet. Wait is this cockpit not? Oh it's not airtight? That's lame. No it says it's airtight. Hello. Uh, what if we do this? Uh, okay, that seems to work, but I don't think I want it there because uh, I want the drills to be as close as possible. So I think I'm gonna try to hide it like in the centerpiece because there's not a whole lot of stuff in there. Let's do that. Alrighty, moment of truth. Well, we have good news and bad news. The good news is, is I'm pretty sure it works. Let's take it out. Yeah, so good news is, is it looks like the ship works. I didn't forget anything, and it's got plenty of lifting power. It's pretty compact, so all of that works. The thing that doesn't work is the fact that it doesn't have, I put the vent in it, but 
apparently the dorsal hold on i don't want to die apparently the dorsal cockpit doesn't have a uh conveyor port on the top of it or i guess the bottom of it i don't know and therefore the vent that i have that's pulling oxygen into this doesn't actually make it to the cockpit and these drills are so close that i can't put a vent right there oh man it was almost perfect bummer dude i wonder if there's a different cockpit i can use oh maybe i was just using the wrong one perhaps maybe oh that would be so awesome Ooh. okay note to self acceleration and deceleration is kind of finicky okay Oh, dang, man, I'm not gonna lie. That really bums me out. Um, it says that they're airtight sealed. Pressurized, yes, yes. So this chair is airtight. So I wonder, all right, here's the move. I'm gonna grind off the drills because I think if I put the chair on it, it will like scrape against the ground. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the drills down one and then I will have, um, uh, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Come on. This is such a bummer, man. All right. I have, I have a lame idea, but one that may work. What happens if I take off this drill Add a vent? Okay. Pressurize the cockpit, get rid of the vent. Nope. Okay. Plan numero dos. I'll get rid of both of these drills this down just a little bit and I will move the drills out one on each side so I leave room for the vents all right now I'm just gonna test it out to see if the drills being this distance apart is gonna make it so they can't drill so we will bring it over here actually let's bring it over to the iron well actually before we go in that hole we should probably see if it can if it can break the surface and create its own little boring tunnel. All right, doesn't seem to have any problems. Okay, we're full of stone, but we still have plenty of mobility. Okay, well, I guess I was a little too concerned about the cockpit. Having the drills this far apart didn't do anything. So I already put the programmable block and the remote control and antenna and everything on here. So really all we need left is the docking station and we should be good. All right, so I want it to dock somewhere close enough that I can see it come in and out. That way, if it gets damaged or whatever, we can make sure to be like, hey, where's the drone? And then we can go and fix it if it needs it or whatever. Oh, speaking of, you know what I should probably do? Blueprint it. All right, it has been blueprinted. Uh, yeah, so I want it to be close enough, but not close enough to crash into my stuff. So I think I'm going to make an offshoot right here and I'll have like a cool overhang thing for it to come and plug into. And then I'll probably have a decoy and a welder on top because storms, you know, you know. I don't even know what just happened. 
Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Dang it. I tripped over this. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea. I was like, what the heck? I just got caught up on something and my whole ship flipped over. <sighs> Bummer, dude. Dang, man, how is it possible that it like basically destroyed everything on the underside of this ship? Like the connector's down, both batteries are down. This was down, I just welded it up. All of the thrusters, the projector, it's like, that seemed so trivial. And yet, here we are, dumb. Luckily, all of the problems are on the one side, or at least so we assume. So if I just put some welders on a piston, perhaps my problems will be solved. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I almost accidentally pushed it over. And we know how the turtle is at dealing with that kind of stuff. Okay, um, man, it really did not, it really did not get all this stuff. Man, it damaged the top too. How, <laughs> how did like the little trip up that I had damage basically everything on this ship? For shame. Hey, those are all work. Oh, the, really? Really? Okay, let's see if I can get my stuff back. Um, I wonder if I could flip this down, maybe. Oh. Classic. Okay, actually, th this may not be the worst scenario. Far from the best scenario. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Can we use one of the projectors? All right, the projector is in place. Let's uh, reverse this again. I was so close to being done. Like all I had to do was just finish welding up the the pipeline and then put a connector and we would have been done. I mean, I would have probably put some lights on it, but. But of course, something happened. Okay, Piston, let's speed this up. Why isn't it welding up the other stuff? <sighs> All right, if I repair the flip gyros, I should be able to do it. I can tell you right now that did not make things better. <sighs> All right, here's the plan. I am going to make a little jig to grab it and flip it. And then we'll use these welders to get it back on its feet. This is taking me too long. What is going on, man? Why won't the welders do their job? I don't understand why the welders won't weld up this stuff. I'm, okay. If I go to my projector and I do show only buildable, maybe that is why. Okay, we're back in business. Gosh, that was so awful. <laughs> I, I never want to crash again. And I know saying that is probably unwise. Let's finish welding up the thing. All right, now we'll see if I made the docking port tall enough. Hopefully I did, because that would be pretty embarrassing if I didn't. So, sure enough. All right, now it's time to set up the programmable block. So I'm, I'm having it dock and be oriented, so that way when we, when we record the path, we'll go out first and then around, and then that way we can actually see it coming back. So let's, uh, let's see if we can set up a job. Uh, I'm gonna have to re-record that. I overshot it by a lot. I think I might need some lights. All right, I'm gonna put some lights on it. Alrighty, we got this thing lit up like a Christmas tree now. Let's uh, let's try this again. Let's try not to overshoot it. Okay, flight path has been recorded. Now let's set up our thing. And by thing, I do mean mining job. All right, I think that that's that. So let's uh, 
Start, and let's see what happens. Wow. <laughs> uh, how much cargo do we actually have? Not a ton. Well, because uh, my small cargo containers are full. Because I couldn't put like a medium cargo container on here. Because if the drills fill up, then it's over. Well, let's see if it can land on its own. a failure it did not make it back to its dock it only brought like a very small amount of resources back <sighs> okay well clearly there is some trial and error that needs to be done here all right well I'll tell you what for the time being I'm just going to ignore the drone portion of it and I'm just gonna go get myself a bunch of iron because while I have not yet figured out the drone stuff this is the most effective miner we have so far. I also like the lights. The lights make it look really cool. Kind of like alien. Yeah, I'm thinking if we're gonna make this thing like viable, we're probably gonna have to make it bigger or at least taller. That way we can add more thrusters, more, and then we can have like an actual cargo container. What are we doing? Yeah, I think small, small cargo containers was a dumb idea. Let's see how we're doing. Wait, that's the end of the iron? Are you kidding me? That's lame. But yeah, we're we're bringing significantly more iron now than we were in the turtle. Yeah, I think another thing that we need to do in V2 is uh, we need to have more thrust going in the different directions because this thing is really hard to slow down, especially when it has full cargo. What a lovely sunrise. All right, let's see how we're doing on iron. Hey, not so bad. Alrighty, well, I'd say this is a good time for me to clean up my messes, starting with uh, these things that I built to repair the turtle, and then I'll fix the pipeline that goes down here. I'll, uh, I'm trying to think of where I want to put the hydrogen tanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's do the cleanup first, and then we can talk about the tanks. Still don't know where I want to put the tanks. All right, I don't exactly know where I want to put the hydrogen tanks yet. Um, my knee-jerk reaction would be to put them down in the ice mine. Uh, oh, it's getting misty. Oh, it's raining. Nice. Um, would be to put them down here with the ice because they should be protected. And we're planning. I'm planning on making this a bigger deal. Can't really see much. Still can't see much. Okay. So that's one option. Another option could be to just kind of expand over by where the assemblers are. Um, so per perhaps we will do that as well. I think at some point I want to change this from being like a ramp. I think I mentioned this earlier to uh, using like blast door blocks and making it uh, an elevator. So that way you just don't like fall in the pit with like, I don't know if I have a wheeled vehicle or something. Anyway, lots of stuff. I feel like we didn't get as much like for me decorating is uh is like a productive use of time and so maybe that's why i'm like we didn't really get a whole lot done today when in reality we set up a lot of stuff but right now i'm about at that point that i set for myself where i need to cut off in order to make sure that the editing gets done so let's uh look at the to-do list so we built the mine we built we didn't actually build any more power and we also didn't do the expansion. Oh, well, that's lame. But we built the mine, I guess. Oh, I forgot we did these other things. We built the mine. We made the neon. We added lights. We made a done list and a to-do list. Oh, come on. We did more than that. We built the. We built an ice cave. We built a mining drone, albeit it's not working super properly yet, but it was built. 
I'll put in testing. Uh, and then we also built a dock for it, which ultimately we're going to have to uh, move or change because we're going to have to make the drones taller. But I'm not taking away from the work that I did. We got stuff done today. But anyway, thank you to all the patrons for all your support. Thank you for tuning in to No Suit Survival, and we'll catch you next time.